Hi, I'm Kayla McLaughlin, and I'm here with Alicia Sarah Harper, a 25-year-old stylist, freelance stylist, who is also a PR specialist and the creative director behind Noir 91. Hi, Alicia. Hello. So can you just tell me a little bit about Noir 91? Um, okay, where do I start? So I think it was two or three months ago I was in Connecticut. I was contemplating transitioning to becoming a U.S. citizen. Um, and I was staying with one of my best friends. I saw a lot of, I guess, different designers on Instagram posting about different, I guess, things they were thinking of doing. And I was like, oh, that looks interesting, but that's already done. What can I do that's not done already? So I saw this whole movement that was going on with like melanin and Black Lives Matter. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Maybe I could take advantage of this since it seems to be really prominent and big right now. So I thought, okay, how could I contribute to the Black Lives Matter movement? And then I was sitting down with my friend, and I'm like, okay, what can I name this? What can we name it? And then I'm like, okay, what's another name for black in another country, in another language? And she speaks Spanish and English, so she said whatever black was in Spanish, and I was like, no. And then I'm like, okay, noir, French, well, French Canadian. I'm like, okay, so noir. I'm like, okay, I'm born 1991. So I'm like, okay, noir 91. So I asked a bunch of friends what they thought about it, and they were all like, oh my God, that sounds so cool. That sounds so cool. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I thought of it, I thought of it. So then I was like, okay, I'm going to name my company Noir 91, and I kind of just ran off from there. So what do you do with Noir 91? Like, is it a styling company, or what kind of company is it, and what do you do? So initially when I started Noir 91, it was going to be just t-shirts, just t-shirts that said different um, words of encouragement or acknowledgement to different types of marginalized or other people. And then I guess as I started thinking about it more, I'm like, I don't want to limit myself especially because I don't want people to only associate me with someone who just does t-shirts or does hoodies and throws bleach on it and calls it fashion. So I said, okay, let me see what else I can do. So a few years ago, I was actually designing um, when I had my own another line because I just have like 7,000 lines. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try and branch it off. So right now we have t-shirts, we have hoodies, we have body suits. I'm actually wearing one of them. I don't know if you can see it, but we have body suits. Um, and in the future, I'm trying to branch it off to my own original design. So I'm sketching right now. I'm looking for materials to start making original pieces to incorporate as well. So when did you first know that you wanted to be a stylist? When did I first know? Um, Growing up, I kind of always had a thing for fashion and clothes. Like, my mom was that mom who, like, would send me my sister to, um, what is it called again? Photo day. Is it called photo day? What is the day when you take pictures at picture school? Day. Picture day. <laughs> my mom would send me and my sister to picture day in, like, these elaborate outfits, and everyone kind of just look at us. But, like, we were always a little bit more dressed up than everybody else. So I kind of always had a love for clothes and shoes and stuff like that. So as I got older and I started buying my own clothes, people would always be like, oh my God, where'd you get that from? I love that. Oh my gosh, you have to bring me shopping with you. You have to bring me shopping with you. And I'm like, hmm, I can make money off of this. So I'm like, maybe I should pursue a job that could incorporate me bringing people shopping and helping them get dressed and make money. So I Googled it a little bit because I didn't know the concrete title. And then I found out that it was called styling. So that's when I was like, okay, I'm going to become a stylist. And that's where it all began. So you did mention that you have a bunch of clothing lines and you do have a new clothing line coming out. Mm -hmm. So what are the biggest challenges that you faced in um, creating clothing lines? Um, I would say right now the biggest challenge is being original. I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I don't want someone to claim that I'm copying them or that my idea is not original or anything like that. So for me right now it's just finding something that I like and taking it but remixing it and making it my own without someone like accusing me of being a copywriter or a fraud or anything like that. I don't want anyone, especially locally and in the States because I feel like Canada and the US are so close. I try to make something my own without someone else thinking that I'm trying to be them or trying to do what they're doing. And we live in a very, like fashion I feel like is one of the biggest, like the most competitive fields. So whenever you're doing something, if someone else thinks that you're copying them, they're blasting you on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Google, it doesn't even matter what it is, they're blasting you. So I'm trying to just stay true to who I am and what I like and not copy things that I see. Or if I do copy it, incorporate other stuff. Thank you so much. So if you had to say one thing about um, social media and the impact that it's had on you, what would you say? Um, I would actually say thank God for social media because social media has kind of paved the way for who I am now. It's made me want to actually pursue styling and 
modeling for my, I had a five minute modeling career, but that died out. But it's made me want to pursue everything that I pursued more because I feel like if I didn't have Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, I wouldn't get the connections that I have now and I wouldn't be able to express myself the way that I am now if I wasn't on those platforms. Thank you so much, Alicia, for joining us. Thank you. Thanks. Back to the desk. Take two.